Okay guys, hello and welcome back to the Slingshot Project. This is Solus here, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft. Um, now, a few things I just want to run up first while we're here. Um, number one, this sign, um, for whoever this was, uh, yeah, you pretty much fixed it. You left the pressure plates, you know, you could have put stone down, but oh well, I'm not going to complain too much. I had wood on me already, so it wasn't much of a problem. And, yeah, I'm not too bothered about them missing panels on that. Um, uh, so, anyway, uh, another thing uh, you're probably glad to notice is that um, I finally got the uh, preamp. And I'm now using the new mic. And, personally, from what I've heard, I think it sounds a lot better than the uh, ones I've been previously using. So, that's obviously brilliant. And, now for the main bit of this episode. Um, now... You see, in uh, Igius's most recent Let's Play, you might have noticed that he sort of, may have, kind of, started spying on me. Now, I don't particularly know why it is that he's doing this, you know, is it, I, you know, it's not like I'm trying to create an empire or not or something, but, um, well, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to do some counterintelligence here, because it's, um, we can't be having, why is this, Okay, um, okay, someone's done that. Um, but anyway, I don't under- You know, I can't let him do this without me having something- Oh, why has he never got any minecarts over here? Ah, oh, it's infuriating. But, um, so what I'm thinking is, we're just going to go down to his base and- I'm not- everything just seems different going down here for some reason. Has he altered something? Oh, I think I see what he's doing. He's, ah, he's upgrading the path, that's why. Uh, yeah, um, if he's wondering who blocked up this bit, that was me. Just so you know, because it was really annoying me how I kept getting knots out of the minecarts all the time. But, um, oh, it might be further down here. I I'm, not sure, I'm not sure whereabouts on the track it was. It was on the track somewhere. But um, anyway, I'm getting beyond the point now. Um, so basically what the idea of this episode is mainly going to be is that we are going to build a base. Now, much in the same manner that Igius has done, oh I'm running low on food, um, much in the same manner Igius has done, we are not going to be, um, actu I'm not actually going to show you where the entrance will be, um, mainly because at the moment I do not know where it's going to be, <laughs> that might be a main part to it, but um, also, just so then um, none of you guys can, you know, just um, tell him where it is and also so he can't find it as well. Um, so obviously, like he did, there is a lot of room here to choose. Um, obviously I'm going to do some kind of hidden entrance, so I was thinking of doing um, a torch key entrance. I think that could go pretty well. Um, so obviously there's a lot of choices around this area. We've got um, the whole jungle hill and the whole forest over there, and we've got I mean, a giant ocean area. You know, there's plenty of places where we can hide this little, um, this little spy place. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're going to do some of a hidden torch key, so I won't show you that, but I'll show you all the um, interior, uh, because I, th I think you'll like that. I think we may as well have a look up here as well while we're around. Now, I'm, I'm going to give my own little architectural um, criticisms here. Now... I've got to admit, I do love this section. I really like the use of pillars. I think it's working really nice. I, I just think the whole... I just think it's quite a nice little... Um, I'm not too sure about that door. But, um... I, I like how it's done. I also quite like how he stepped it back as well. That's a nice little feature. This bit... I'm... I'm a bit in between on that. I, I kind of like it and I kind of don't. I don't like this bit here. I think that needs to be changed. I think you should use different blocks behind. That's just my opinion. You can keep them as the eye if you want. But um, I think they should be changed, personally. I like the glass panes. Looks better than glass blocks, obviously. Um, the roof, I'm a little little bit not too sure on. Uh, purely because I think, that, I think just that style of roof, you need to wait till it's completely done before you can show it. And... Well, this room is... Mm, I, I know obviously the cloud's only so wide, but... 
I mean, from what I can see at the moment, I think this probably should be wider if it's going to be this tall, but obviously that can't be done, so um, I, I guess it'll do. But um, I just think maybe consider making that a bit lower. I think that might look better than having this as a central piece. But anyway, that's me sharing my own things. I'm trying not to insult him here because I, I do genuinely quite like the whole thing, the thing as a whole at the moment. So there you go. You're getting you're getting compliments from me. I never thought I never thought the day would happen, but I'm complimenting you. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump off, find a location, and mark it out with probably some never at just so I know where I'm going. And then I'm going to build this entrance, and I'm going to begin, and then I'll dig out the interior, which uh, you guys can all see. So. Um, I'll cut back in a bit. Whee! Okay guys, so, um, I can gladly say that, uh, the, uh, base has actually been constructed, and I'm pretty happy with, um, I mean, it's not been constructed, but it's been, um, I've done the entrance and that, and I am actually really impressed with myself. Um, purely because it didn't take too long, and I was basically... I went off um, Mumbo Jumbo's torch key design, which um, if I remember to, which I probably won't, um, I will link to down in the description. If not, I've mentioned it, so you know what fa so you know what you're looking for. Um, uh, obviously, I'm gutted I couldn't actually show you, but it would ruin the whole point of this episode of it being a secret base. Um, well, a secret outpost, I should say. The base will be coming later. Um, but uh, basically, it went really well. Um, the redstone works perfectly, so now I basically just need to make sure I always have at least a... I'll probably keep two redstone torches, because I'll probably lose one. Um, but yeah, it works really... it looks... it works pretty well. Um, slight issue of um, personally not being able to figure out a proper door system yet. I might... I'll probably sort that out later. At the moment, it's basically... You drop that, it moves the block out of the way, you drop down one, and then you've got to break the other one away to actually get down. But, you know, it's trial and error at this stage. I mean, I'm, you guys should know by now, I am not any redstone god. Um, you know, that's pretty much Iggyus on here, to be perfectly honest. Um, so that's why I'm training myself, shall we say. Um... Now, for the actual detailing of inside, um, I'm thinking of going back to glowstone for lighting it up again. I do quite like glowstone. I do like using it. Um, I do prefer the um, the new blocks. Um, you know, the new one point. Well, they're not really new. One point, it's been out for a while, but I can't find a name of them at the moment. Um, you know what you're on about. Uh, uh, you know, I do really like them ones. Uh, so I'm thinking for the inside, we might go for a bit of a mixture of woods, stone slabs, diorite, and some glowstone. And I think we'll figure out what we end up with from that, to be honest. Now, I've got a few things I need to actually do myself right now. Um, such as sort out my food problem. we got to have much steak left. Um, and I'm thinking, like, I'm currently trying to, uh, repopulate my, uh, farm. I'll show you now. Somehow they still keep getting out. I do not know what it is. None of the others know what it is anymore because th there shouldn't be anything wrong with this. Um, uh, but I am going to say now what, what I am actually planning on doing in later episodes, um, possibly after this, I'm not too sure how long this one will go for, but I'm going to basically dig all the way through this and create one big giant hall. Now, I'm not just doing that for the sake of it, that's because I'm going to be refurbishing this segment of my base. Oh, I, I never sorted that bit of the ceiling out, I never noticed that. Um, obviously, I'll have to get that done at some point. Um, anyway, uh, what I need to do, what I'm I'm positive I did that. Surely. Huh, unless it's some kind of glitch. Um, anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to create a smart storage system. 
So there's going to be essentially a chest for pretty much every item I need. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is just because I've realised I'm a hoarder of items and it'd just be easier if I have one great big warehouse for everything in. So my base is basically just going to become a storage warehouse. I'm going to be moving this lot outside as well. I'm going to probably do something in here, but I'm not too sure yet. Um, but that's the only real idea. So basically, you'll just go straight down into this one big gigantic room. And I'm also going to be redoing all the walls and all the sides. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to check out the um, uh, the super farm, shall we call it, um, which will be having updates soon, hopefully. I've got some ideas for that, which can make it pretty cool. And the reason I'm doing that is because I need to get some wheat. Um, yeah, even I fall victim to that door every so often, but I, I like the idea of it. I think it's quite funny, so I'm going to leave it. But uh, what I'm going to do is just check out the farm, make sure, uh, see if it needs sorting out, if it needs some wheat. Well, I do need to get wheat from it anyway, so I'm going to take some wheat. And I'm going to continue just growing some more, well, not growing cows, breeding cows. And then I will take, I will be, oh, basically just um, kill a few of them and get some more steak. I've got the mutton, I've got the steak at the moment, which should be enough really for this episode, but... Um, it's always useful to just have some more around, so, yeah, let's do that. Ah, uh, the glorious farm in all its working glory. I've got to admit I do love, I, I'm, I'm, I personally really like this little design thing that Iggy has came up with a while ago. I mean, it's simple, but got a cool effect, um, and I'm going to be expanding it, going longer, hopefully, at some point. Let's pick up these uh, seeds that I've got trapped. Sometimes that happens. Not, It's not a lot, to be honest, but it does happen. There's an enderman around here somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where, though. I wonder if it'll be as crazy as the last one, where it was just consistently zipping everywhere. Now, I know that endermen do zip around all the time, but normally they stay relatively still. Um, oh, yeah, we're getting plenty of stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to wait for this to get done, and then I will cut back inside the actual base. Okay, hello guys, so, um, yeah, here's what the uh, base looks like. Very impressive, ain't it? Who am I kidding? It looks shit. Right, so, basically, I plan on bringing it down a little bit, uh, just on the off chance that he ever spots that um, I am here. Like if you have a logs on and then I can just quickly press shift and hopefully get out of the way. So I'm I'm thinking at the moment I'm just gonna keep it relatively small. Nothing too major. It's gonna be a little spy outpost. Um I've gotta admit I don't have much of an idea for a design at the moment. Uh I'm going to make it a little bit higher than Iggy's is though, because um, I don't, as you all pretty much know, I do like all the places being at least free high. Just a bit more height, feel a bit less cramped, regardless of whether it's a, um, must be a hidden place or not. I think it's something you should always do. Apart from when you're mining, when you're mining, that's a bit different. Um, so, um, I think I'll, I, what I'll do is I'm going to, I'm going to figure out something and I'll cut back straight after I've done it. Okay guys, I've done it. Now, I'm just going to explain why it looks the way it does. Quite small and very white. Now, the reason for that is because I've been thinking back to like the sort of old James Bondy style. You know, all the old James Bond movies and almost every like super cool villain or super cool spy. They all had like, the, the place was completely painted white, to put simply. A lot of them were. And they'd come in from these very, um, you know, rocky and natural areas. They'd see some like wooden entrance of some kind, or some wooden bar borders, and then you'd walk into this pure white place. Now, the reason this one's so small is because this is purely just a little outpost. It's not a main spy hub. I might upgrade it later on, you know, expand a bit down there and make it 
you know, add a few other things like brewing stands, etc. But for the moment, all I need is my set of armor, a bed, and a chest. So, I've now got, um, we've, we can now set up and um, spy on Igius and see just what heinous things he is up to. Because I think we all know you can never trust a wizard fully, that there's always something that they're doing. So anyway, um, yeah, let's go. Okay guys, so we're back here. Um, now the reason I've come back here is um, purely because I decided for the rest of this episode, the sort of plans I outlined earlier of um, sort of redoing the base, I think we're going to go ahead with that. Now there's a few little issues. Number one, we need to go through the floor. Number two, there's a lot of materials around. And number three, there's all these cows. Now, you see, I did have the idea of moving the entire cow farm, but obviously moving all these cows individually would be a bit ridiculous. So I'm just going to kill them all. And I think I might have to speed this up for your enjoyment. Okay, so that's the cows gone. Um, I guess the next issue is all this wood. So, shouldn't take too long with this pick. I mean, not with this pick, with this axe. Hopefully it won't break on me. Um, so, yeah, my sort of I like... For the rest of this episode, like, there's no way I'm going to be able to figure out... No, great, that's gone. Um, there's no way that I have the capabilities to figure out the redstone for a sorting system right now. You know, um, if that disappoints any of you, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm obviously not a redstone genius. Um, so what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to just... I'm basically just going to make the space ready. Um, well, I can't really do the decorations till I know what the actual system's going to be and what it's going to look like. And I'm going to just jump into a testing world at some point later during this week. When I have the chance to. Um, so I'm basically just going to prepare the area, you know, just go right the way through, see what kind of space I'm looking at. Um, and yeah, I think I'll just sort of go from there, really. Um, don't get me wrong, this is going to take a long, um, this is going to take a while. It's going to take a lot, of, a lot of wood. So I'm going to most likely have to. Um, get some more because we're going to need a hell of a lot of chests for this to actually work. Um, so I guess in a sense you can sort of say from this episode following on from Igius and what he has done that we have essentially started a cold war in um, the uh, World of Wonders server. There's currently a cold war going on between the lands of Igius and the lands of Solus. So, it's going to be interesting seeing how this one plays out then. But obviously we do have the rules of no griefing, so it's going to be interesting seeing what actually happens. Like, will we, like, I don't particularly understand, know how this is going to play out. But, it's going to be fun trying to figure out what goes on. Anyway, I'm going to continue getting rid of all of this stuff. And I will cut back as soon as I have finished clearing out the area. Okay guys, so as you can see this is actually really big. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So that does give me the advantage of having a lot of storage space. So the idea I'm going to have is basically most likely going to be having all of the storage going along this wall. As opposed to this one, just then you've got the door and I might just do some crazy decoration stuff going along there. Not too sure at the moment. That's something I'll figure out in the next episode. So, um, I'm assuming, I'm guessing this has been a short one. I've been saying that for probably the past few episodes, but I'm assuming this will be a lot shorter. It's felt like it's been a lot shorter. Um, uh, purely because I've been running out of time. I don't have a lot of time this week and I apologise for that. But on the upside, better mic quality, and the Cold War has begun. So, anyway, I'll be back again next Thursday, and I'll see you again next time. Yeah, I might bring it out a bit more, actually. It looks alright, but, well, it could be better. 
then again, do I really want to go for all the struggles of trying to get a perfect circle in Minecraft? 